I did I ever, boy, that was <laughs> <laughs> talking about. That was <laughs> getting to have, play, glass Joe, piston, Honda, you know what I mean? Like, nah. Um, nah, Mike Tyson punch out was the bomb. I mean, it was it was the game to have. So I wanted to start off with this verse. Obviously, Mike comes out on Hulu August 25th. So what can fans expect from this limited Mike Tyson series? Well, I think they can uh, just expect to see. I hope they can see or they receive a full iteration of some beautiful person, a full story, a full. I just a full thing, a full piece. Mm-hmm. You know? Absolutely. And Trevante, I wanted to ask you this. Uh, you obviously play Mike Tyson, and he's obviously a complex character. So what was the biggest challenge uh, playing a boxing legend? I guess in reference to the boxing aspect of things, uh, getting an understanding of, just get, trying to at least get an understanding of boxing so I can uh, have his perspective in that way. Because obviously mm-hmm. understood in what boxing is and the sport. So to try and, uh, you know, digest as much boxing as I can was kind of fun and tough. Uh, Absolutely. And Russell, for you, uh, you played Don King and Mike. Now, he's also an interesting character as well. Very successful boxing promoter, but he had a troubled past, uh, spent some time in jail. So what was the biggest challenge for you uh, for playing Don King? You know, um, for me, the biggest challenge was trying to find a – the human side of who Don King is in such a short window, you know, yeah. um, uh, you know, as an actor, you'd like to have as much prep time as possible to sort of absorb as much as you can and then be able to forget about it. And then you have, you know, um, you know, just as much you've absorbed everything, but uh, it was just really the challenge of um, trying to find an, an honest, an honest, true human depiction of who Don is, um, you know, we know him as the uh, the the carnival barker, you know, uh, the man of many faces in mm-hmm. a thousand words. Uh, but uh, you know, who's behind that? Because in order, I feel like in order to show the bigness of him, you have to understand the human side of him. And we, I think, I believe, we get an opportunity to see that. And that was for me the, one of the biggest challenges. Of course, and Trevante. Um, When it comes to Mike Tyson, everyone knows, you know, about his uh, boxing career and he's lived quite a life over the last, you know, 50 plus years. But how much did you know about Mike Tyson before taking this role? Uh, Just I just knew, uh, you know, the bravado. I knew I knew uh, I knew the red energy that Mike Tyson represented because that's what he represented for me. Uh, And that's kind of all I wanted to know i guess and then you know you get the opportunity and then you, know, you learn a lot more and for uh, russell uh, there has been uh, several um tv series and uh, portrayals of mike dyson and don king over the years so what made you want to take on this role of a iconic boxing promoter you know i'm an actor so you know i i, I love a challenge you know um you know i believe in my talent I believe in my ability and, you know, and so if you do, if you believe in yourself as I do, you want the greatest challenges possible to, to prove to yourself and others that you are indeed the genuine article. And so, you know, um, you know, I, I believe only in the last few years have I really been given the opportunity to, uh, to display uh, certain aspects of my talent and this being one of those opportunities and so I, I I welcomed it. And as I said before, you know, not having uh, a huge prep window, you really got to put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. No doubt about that. And Trevante, you know, after working on this series, do you think that Mike Tyson is a misunderstood individual? Because everyone has their judgment on him um, based on what he has done in the ring and obviously outside the ring. And that's seen in this series, Mike. So do you think he's a misunderstood individual? Uh, I think he is by those who uh, misunderstand the aesthetic. But I think people who uh, relate 
understand. That's, you know, that's why we love him so much. Of course. And uh, just a couple more questions for you guys. Uh, this question is for both of you. One of the things I noticed about uh, when watching Mike is uh, they mentioned the video game, Mike Tyson to punch out. That was huge uh, when I was growing up. So I wanted to ask you, have you guys ever played the game? And if so, were you good at it? Did I ever, boy, that was <laughs> talking about. That was getting to have, play, glass, Joe, piston, Honda. Every, you know what I mean? Like, nah. Um, but Mike Tyson punch out was the bomb. I mean, it was, it was the game to have. And like the only way you ever got to play him, there was like one dude I grew up with who could get past everybody to get to Mike. Everybody else had to do the cheat codes. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> That was about it. But uh, it was uh, no, it was it was fun. It was fun. It was it was the game at the time. Absolutely classic game. I'm glad that was mentioned because that was a big part of my childhood. But uh, the last question for you guys before I let you go is, um, you know, I got to watch the first few episodes. I think it's absolutely great. But so what's the one thing you want viewers to take away from this miniseries? You know, I think you take away what you bring to it. I think you really have people have to sort of search within themselves and ask, where am I? Meaning, what what am I bringing? What is my um, my preconceived notions of who Mike Tyson is, of uh, who Mike Tyson was, you know? Um, am I prejudiced, you know, with, with uh, my thoughts and ideas about who he is or who he was? And am I willing, if I am, to eliminate those prejudices for one moment and see what we believe is a an honest depiction, you know, of Mike. And so, you know, because there's a lot of, um, I think there's a, there's a lot of different things that, you know, we were, Mike was going through at that time, but I think, but black culture was going through at that time. Mm-hmm. And so I think that a lot of people are going to look at blackness and look at manhood in a different way, have looked at it in a different way. And I think what we're asking, you know, audiences to do is uh, strip away those unflattering ideals and I, thoughts that you may have had and come anew. Man, just to take it back off that, man, just, yeah, the colors, the colors, the colors of the aesthetic. Oh, receive the colors, all of them. Absolutely. That's absolutely great. Well, guys, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Congratulations on the series, Mike, and continued success to both of you.